so these are the a uh, uh, chopped woods firewood chopped firewood for a monster who murdered three members of my family and uh, this is the date and time so this is uh, like two so-called meters of wood which is a cubic meter and uh, it is something like uh, 100, 100 euros something like that so this is the first actually the last time she bought it before that it was in uh, 29th of July that she bought it this is around the same amount so uh, this is a private some private company and the first one was uh, one of my neighbors I won't name the guy I want to close this then uh, the next I don't need this anymore then the next is uh, 7th of February this year again around the same amount so uh, that's already 300 euros or more so at least 300 euros that's all for her I have my woods here and here so uh, I have a lot of videos where, where I uh, where I was uh, transporting woods with my tractor this one this is my tractor so it's not mine and uh, so that was third time and uh, I don't need this and the last was uh, 22nd of November last year again around the same amount so this is at least 400 euros and uh, and what I know is that it's not it's not uh, her uh, cousins who gave her the money because they said so this is the monster who murdered three, murdered three members of my family this is her sister who guaranteed gave guarantees for her both of them have psych issues major psych issues so i i know that it's not her uh, sister because her husband which is shown in this video on, on their on their uh, facebook page he told me uh, it was uh, i think 9th of june 2019 so he told me they don't care about her because uh, this monster wasted her life changing partners and uh, taking care of them uh, providing them food and so on and so on and she moved to my home she uh, her uh, property new property so when she bought it when she brought that two properties one refrigerator and uh, some rubbish brand and one small washing machine so uh, new that that's all of her belongings uh, so she has house in some remote place but she haven't visited that house for more than 10 years so which means that she doesn't have anything of any value there so uh, everything she she brought here is uh, no more than something around 300 euros but new new so uh, she was uh, like six, 60 years around 60 years old when she uh, moved to my home so uh, 
when she was 60 years old, all her belongings, belongings were like 200 uh, euros and uh, she has 25% uh, uh, of one of the home at that remote place which was given uh, to her father who was a driver in the mine and uh, that's all she has she doesn't have any uh, she doesn't even have a, the, a, the garden so uh, I'm creating this video especially for social uh, workers of Smedereva Serbia who are now in the uh, started procedure to move her she's now in psychiatric hospital they are trying to move her to uh, the a uh, nursing home but to use uh, as a support third of my property that is, that uh, she inherited by court and judges committing committing major frauds and they also uh, i mean definitely they're planning to uh, use uh, 35 around 35 so not not 13 but 35 thousand euros at least 35 thousand euros this is how much she stole from my from my household uh, from the day she she uh, moved to my household maybe not from that day but like she started doing that after several months when she uh, she moved in after several months she started stealing from my from my uh, household so uh she was stealing around around uh, around 20 uh, 250 euros every month because that was uh, the a uh, my uh, grandfather's pension when my grandfather died then my father started uh, borrowing from me and uh, because she needed to to constantly have money this is this money is either uh, in in the bank or some of her close cousins is taking care of that money but I think it, it is in, in the bank so uh, I'm showing here also another proofs that she started stealing uh, uh, right when my grandfather started having psych issues he had psych issues because he was poisoned with the mercury or something similar so this is a, a tax which was not paid uh, three years uh, before this report so 2013 so this is uh, uh, 2016 and in 2013 my grandfather started uh, having dementia and uh, by this amount it can be cal cal calculated that uh, the money uh, the tax wasn't paid uh, for around three years so that this is exactly the time when my grandfather started started having problems with memory and he was totally losing uh, his mind as people say so this is uh, these are the reports from a tax institution It's the same thing I just want to show it so again this is all public so I oops
Some of the other uh, sold one cow, yeah, cow. It's countryside, and he uh, and he paid this this tax taxes, and it is really strange that. Uh, that he didn't pay it because uh, so this was the time after my grandfather died my grandfather died uh, it was uh, the end of 2015 so uh, my grandfather was uh, uh, staff of uh, a local local office local community office so he was state uh, staff and he always uh, paid taxes uh, on time this is why this is the reason why uh, my father stopped paying taxes uh, when my grandfather started having uh, dementia problems so uh, these are now the a uh, lists from from the bank, and this is the money that is that was given uh, to uh, I don't know if I can. So. Uh, If I can use the same term, subs, subsidies, 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 subsidies. Okay, I was close. So these are uh, some sort of a help or uh, or bonus for uh, milk. So. Uh, So my father was regular, uh, regularly selling milk and this is the bonus he got uh, from, from that uh, milk, let's call it milk factory, I don't know what's the right term in English. And these are the, uh, the list of the money he received. So uh, this monster took all that money. So as I said, at least 35,000 euros is the amount she stole. And uh, it is really strange that she gave uh, around 400, at least 400 euros last and this year for, for this uh, firewood because uh, after I started reporting everything to prosecution, she was instructed by the ones who were protecting her uh, not to spend that money. And uh, uh, even before I moved, she was uh, buying old bread at least uh, day one day uh, old bread. Then. Uh, uh, she was buying some rubbish, rubbish food, and she even was uh, preparing her own, her own cigarettes with with this machine. There is machine for, for uh, making cigarettes. If this is the right word. So she she was uh, because cigarettes are really expensive in Serbia. So she was even uh, making their own her own cigarettes in order to show that she doesn't have money and uh, again this is because I, was, I started reporting, reporting everything in 2017 and today is this date otherwise she, uh, she would uh, continue using that money, spending that money and she was also uh, using uh, uh, 
smoking some very expensive cigarettes while, while my father was alive. Uh, let me remember what's the name. Of those cigarettes, yeah, Karelia Slims. So they are really, really expensive. Valeria Slims. I think it was Karelia. 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 So Karelia Slims, uh, very expensive cigarettes. Uh, I think that uh, one of the uh, Yes, it says new, new, new prices for cigarettes. So as far as I remember, one of the uh, most pop, popular, okay, it, it's K instead of C. One of the most popular uh, singers, and they have money, in Serbia was uh, smoking that cigarettes. So she was very generous with, with my money, that monster. So from the most expensive, one of the most expensive cigarettes to uh, homemade cigarettes. It's strange, isn't it? So I'm just showing this. So this is the date, obviously. This is uh, the, uh, the company and this is the... Uh, uh, current uh, state of uh, what's the right term of the account the bank account next one again everything is public I have one more as far as I remember. A few more papers. Okay, this is something different. But I don't know if I I don't know if I have a the a uh, photos of them. So, uh she she stole a lot of money and at, at the same time she uh, she tried to uh, actually the ones who are who are be, who are protecting her they tried to instructed her to do everything to make it look like uh, I stole the money and this, uh, this was uh, especially meaningless and stupid after uh, what was that time around the uh, uh, middle of 2021 when I spent all my money. I was uh, selling valuable things of some value, like crystal glasses and stuff like that before I moved to, to country when I was in the city. So, uh, military intelligence who was behind this, they waited until I uh, used all the money from my bank accounts and they tried then to bribe me. I have a video on this. So, uh, I recently uploaded, I mean not recently, but, so I think th this is the video. When they tried to bribe me, 
day before uh, uh, illegal changes in Catastar ownership was illegally changed of third of my property, which monster who murdered my family uh, got by judges, multiple judges committed committing major frauds, major crimes. Again, this is the monster and her sister, both psychiatric patients. So by uh, by starving me, they wanted to break me because I, I uh, didn't agree. They wanted, so police, military major wanted to meet with me and uh, he was uh, just doing what uh, military Serbian quoted military headquarters told him so they either tried probably tried to bribe me I don't think they would threaten me because they would do this in another way maybe that was also threat and bribery at the same time but I refused to meet them why would I meet them so uh, they then tried to star me and by doing this they proved I didn't have I didn't steal any money, so that was stupid from from their side. And uh, what the last thing I want to show is, uh, I think this is here. So if I go to this view, I uh, well, this I think this is the only one receipt yeah only uh, there is another one so this monster uh, gave me uh, around 1900 yeah nine no nine no nine not 19 900 uh, around 900 euros before she uh, went to hospital I, I i knew why she uh, she was doing that so i so i accepted it uh, around 250 was uh, the last pension uh, of my grandfather so uh, when somebody dies you family takes his last pension so i uh, I took that money. She said uh, she uh, she cannot take it with her. She was in, in the hospital. She had a, a surgery, and uh, it was uh, July 2019, and it can be seen here. It was around that time. Uh, let's see the date. Uh, Yeah, so uh, right after she gave me that money, she uh, she asked me to to send her f fifteen. This is around something more than uh, uh, one hundred euros. Did I say nine hundred euros? Did she gave me? I think I said so. Nine hundred euros. She gave me nine hundred euros, and she asked for uh, around something more than. Uh, 100 euros right away like a week after she gave me so uh, I sent her of course she needed for this for uh, I don't know some uh, sort of examination before uh, her operation and there is another another uh, receipt where I sent her the a uh, I think 55 uh, around uh, 50, uh, around 500 euros so I, I cannot find it for somewhere here I'm thinking where it can, where it can be so there are two of them I'll, I will find it and I will add uh, the link to the description so uh, she asked me uh, for that money uh, in uh, I think it was December 
I mean it was December 2019 it was a comm before commemoration yeah so that's it this is when she she asked me to give her the rest of the money while at the same time she uh, told all the people she gave me the, the money but she hadn't told them that uh, I returned that money except this part uh, which was pension of my grandfather I said if court uh, says I should give that part to her I will give it but I never gave her of course so uh, I used that to, to buy uh, equipment for surveillance uh, surveillance cams and other equipment and to fix my machines tractors car and so on and so on so I haven't used it for me and uh, I have here the a uh, My cousin and neighbor who confirms psych patient told him she gave me the money but she uh, she haven't told him and at that time uh, let me see if there is a date but she haven't told him she hasn't told him that uh, I returned that money I will need to go to my studio to look what's the what's the time but this was uh, in probably 2020 when I called uh, I should add this to uh, to the description definitely so I asked him if she told uh, him that uh, I returned that money but he confirmed that she uh, hasn't told him that so uh, what she did and by the way she's uh, extremely stupid she cannot she cannot uh, read she has uh, she's struggling to read a simple text and uh, I have a lot of videos how stupid she is for instance for instance she pour water in the gas tank where is that in the gas tank of of, of the tractor i have the a uh, video on that I recently yeah here it is fuel tank sorry I said gas it's fuel tank so this shows how stupid she is so uh, that means her sister was behind and she is she was behind everything uh, and and her husband of course because they didn't want to take care of her her husband said that he admitted that while she was in the hospital in psychiatric hospital in June 2019 so they are the ones who instructed her what to do and uh, in certain cases someone else instructed them so uh, this is what she did in order to to show to the people to hide that she actually stole uh, a lot of money but everybody knows how uh, how much money my uh, father and grandparents 
uh, were earning per uh, per month around the time when she when she uh, moved to my household to my home it was something uh, around 700 to 700 uh, to 750 euros per month and if uh, third of it goes to to uh, property to to uh, taking care of property to to machines maintaining machines tractors and so on and so on so they had uh, something around 500 uh 500 euros per month and they always uh were buying new things and so on and so on so new properties when she when she moved to my home everything stopped so so she was stealing all that money i even offered prosecution and police to come to my home and to to check out of course they they could easily access my back and cows, but I also invited them to come to my home in the city and to and to check out all my things, everything that I have. So, uh, but anyways, this this was not needed after this uh, after that event I described with the police military major when they are uh, trying to star me. So they, by doing that, they. Uh, and to break me by doing that they proved that they haven't uh, uh, stolen any money and uh, of course every bad sit situation has a, a good side so this is a sort of an unwritten law so let's see if I uh, forgot something uh, yeah I have a video which I recorded uh, this morning um, um, I will upload it when I when I upload this video that I'm now recording this it's about uh, this psycho and monstrous murder of my family being uh, the a uh, kleptomaniac she is also professional pro froster pathological liar and so on and so on so uh, again I need to I needed to record this as a proof for the a uh, for a social social uh, center for social work or social workers to prevent them from steal that money if I don't prove that they s stole the money they will <laughs> they will steal it and pretend it uh, didn't exist so uh of course i assume this is uh, every all that money is in the bank and bank need to uh block that money block that account and if uh, they uh let somebody take this money withdraw that money from bank account they need to return it because this money is uh, was stolen you you cannot you cannot use money that you earned or get by committing a crime so uh, I think that that would be all on, on the regarding stealing around 35 less uh, at least 35 thousand euros from my from my household from the let's say beginning of 2008 to uh, the end of 2000 2018 when my uh, father died so this is 11 years okay so uh, I think I covered everything here